today we're going to be doing some discussions on SARMs, and this is going to be a quick little disclaimer. So SARMs are not something that we can prescribe, nor are they something that we sell. And by talking about them today, this is strictly for educational purposes. Um, SARMs themselves are experimental, which means that they are not approved by the FDA for any type of human consumption. Any evidence or discussion that we have on them today is going to be based on uh, a laboratory setting or experiments that were previously held, in addition to um, any evidence from people using it being purely anecdotal. And so through this video, we are not promoting the use of SARMs. We just really want to have people be informed about them because there is misinformation that goes around and people do try and pair them with TRT. And so we kind of just hope to inform you guys the best that we can. Um, thank you very much. Please enjoy the video. Today, we're going to be talking about SARMs. Again, our first SARM is Osterine, also known as MK2866. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of Osterine. Like other SARMs, it attaches to androgen receptors. And essentially, it does the same thing as testosterone. Uh, it triggers uh, better nitrogen uptake and re retention in muscles for muscle growth. It has, uh, like other SARMs, uh, the uh, potential to have more activity in muscle and bone than in other tissues where we don't want as much uh, androgen activity, such as in the prostate. And it would seem that uh, according to what studies, limited studies we have on Osterine, it does do that. It does attach uh, with much more affinity to muscle and bone as opposed to uh, prostate or um, uh, male breast tissue. So it, it does seem to deliver in, in that regard. Um, SARMs were created with the goal in mind to reduce uh, aff affectation on the pituitary gland. It would seem that according to what studies have been done, it does actually suppress uh, both LH and FSH uh, from the pituitary gland. So Osterine did fail in that department. Um, so it does actually ultimately reduce your natural production of testosterone uh, uh, by affecting the pituitary gland. So keep that in mind. Um, a lot of people are asking questions. Well, can I add something like Osterine or whatever to my uh, TRT to get better effects? Um, in reality, uh, it does not seem to be the case um, as it does uh, still affect the pituitary gland. Um, in general, if, if there were any benefit to adding something like uh, Osterine to your TRT regimen, um, it would be that it would likely be um, uh, taking up some more of the sex hormone binding globulin, um, making more of the testosterone uh, that you're, you're uh, supplementing with more effective. Osterine is typically taken, uh, like other SARMs, it's an oral medication. Um, uh, dosing, again, cannot be uh, clearly defined at this point because we have no actual literal human studies. Uh, so bear that in mind. These have never been officially uh, tested in a, in a double-blind study or anything in humans, um, but in animal studies, um, they have been proven to be um, safe, at least in whatever studies um, they've been doing on that. Dosing in, in adults is typically done anywhere between five to upwards of sometimes 30 milligrams. Um, its half-life is 24 hours, so typically it would be dosed once daily, and um, uh, the higher the dose goes, generally, again, the more effect you would have. The main reason why men uh, are using SARMs these days is uh, they are renowned to have better um, uh, reduction in, in overall body fat than, than TRT. Um, anecdotally, th this, this has been said over and over. Um, it, so in men that are taking Osterine, they seem to, at least they state that they're, they're losing body fat at a, a significant rate. Um, again, these all have to be taken with a grain of salt. Um, it's important to remember as well that because these aren't FDA regulated, these are literally all made in someone's basement. Um, these are not um, uh, illegal, but only because they are written with the express instructions that these are not to be used in humans. 
So this is not for human consumption. That is the only reason these are legal and able to be purchased online. Um, and it's the only reason the FDA has not come and, and um, uh, made a bunch of arrests for these. So I want to be very clear, we are not recommending their use. Um, but because we get so many questions, we, we do want people to at least be knowledgeable about it. Um, ultimately, uh, we do not recommend you add it to your TRT. There is no additional benefit. Traditionally, TRT alone can um, give you all the benefits you need. Um, and uh, according to the only human study, there's only one, uh, only one human study on SARM so far, um, uh, three quarters of the people who took it in the uh, phase one of that trial had to quit because of side effects. Um, one thing to remember, one of the reasons we stopped uh, making testosterone pills is because they were very harsh on the liver. And uh, lo and behold, the SARMs have been proven so far to be also very harsh on the liver, um, uh, causing uh, elevation in liver enzymes, elevation in bilirubin. With that in mind, um, we cannot recommend that you take Osterine uh, as it, it has essentially been proven to be harmful to the liver. If you do choose to take it, it would obviously need to be cycled off uh, to give your liver a chance to heal. Um, other than that, um, be safe. Uh, again, this is Garrett with Alpha MD, and uh, feel free to uh, message us if you have any other questions.